Welcome back, YouTube. I tell you, I have like the worst luck. I was just doing a video on showing everyone how they can make um, basic standard white bread uh, with the times that are going on. Even if you've never baked before, it's super duper easy. Um, and then we got right to it mixing and coming away from the bowl clean and the battery died. Like I just can't win. So I'm going to go over exactly what I did prior to that happening. Um, so basically what I did, and I actually have an extra one right here. It's nice and foamy. You need one and a half cups of like a lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold. Why is that? Because your yeast won't activate. Okay. So in here is one and a half cups of lukewarm water. I put two teaspoons of yeast in here and two tablespoons of sugar. You can also substitute and use honey if you want. Um, you basically just want to put it off to the side, as you can see, till it gets all bubbly and ooey gooey. Okay, so that was the first step. The other thing that I discussed is what yeast do I use? which you can find this at Sam's Club. This is the yeast that I use. Um, I think it was a two pack. I got it a while ago. This was in the freezer. I keep my yeast in a mason jar in the freezer or the fridge. And this is how I buy my flour. This is bread flour that we're going to use today. I just emptied the rest of the bag out into a container. This is 25 pounds. I didn't buy it like this because of what's going on. I always just buy it like that. So if you get an opportunity to get out, I suggest buy your yeast in a bigger bulk, your bread flour and your regular flour. So that I also discussed prior to the battery dying. Okay. Um, then what I did once the yeast proved I dumped it into the KitchenAid and I added two tablespoons of softened butter, one teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of dried milk powder. This is dried milk powder. I keep it in a mason jar with the label in there. And why do I use um, dried milk powder? It's because regular milk has an enzyme in it that will kill your bread and make it moldy a lot quicker. So, are we up to speed? Let's see. So yes, then I turned it on, number two in the KitchenAid, and just started slowly letting it all pull together until it pulls away from the bowl. The oven's preheated at uh, 350. That's already going. Battery died right when I'm ready to tell everyone that once it comes clean away from the bowl, you want to now knead it for five minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. You want it to be smooth as a baby's bottom. Um, you'll be able to tell, it'll look nice and smooth. Let that knead, and then I'll bring you guys right back. Let me put you in the bowl, and you can see how smooth the dough is becoming. And we are just about there. Now when you touch the dough, shouldn't it be sticky? It should kind of be able to hold its shape. I feel really bad that it cut the beginning of the video off. Kind of just is what it is. So I'm going to give this a nice 
another minute or two because it's just literally almost there. Yeah, Okay. She is done. Now, what we're going to do, clean hands. My hands are washed. Like I said, I feel really bad, guys, that the video was cut off. I'm hoping that you can see this well. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, there you go. It's nice and smooth, and we're getting ready to take it out. So, I had to just double check my camera because it's literally plugged into a battery block so it doesn't die again. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I just lowered it, we are going to take it out and even the hook is clean as a whistle. So, what you want to do then is just get your dough out. I want to put this very close to the camera and you just want to get it like this take the sides pull it back like that take the sides and pull it back so you get it into a shape of a ball good nice shiny ball usually doesn't take very long to do that and then you can just pinch it in the back but I like to pull it a few times until the dough is a little extra smooth if, um, like I said this is the easiest like white bread ever to make um, I have to remember what I said in the last video before it died this will make sandwich bread um, for at home. So there is the ball and what you could do if you didn't want to dirty any dishes is you can put some olive oil inside the KitchenAid bowl and um, with a little bit of olive oil and let it uh, proof in the bowl in a warm area. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get a separate bowl. Let me grab that real quick. My Pyrex bowls are so heavy. Let me sit this Pyrex bowl right there. This is the loaf pan that I'm going to be using. So let me put these bowls back. making too much racket and then what we're going to do is we are going to put a little bit of olive oil inside the bowl not much just a little bit and I will explain why for the people that have never made bread before this is your bread dough this is the bowl with the oil in it. You basically want to, well, I usually coat the whole sides. You want to spin it around, coat the top, spin it around, coat the bottom. That's just so that it doesn't get a crusty skin. And then we are going to cover that with a lint-free towel. And we're going to put it in a warm area. And we are going to let that rise for one hour. So let me move this out of the way. Because I feel bad because my battery died that I feel like I need to recap. There we go, that's covered. That will be on for one hour. Okay, so moral of today's video is to make basic standard uh, sandwich bread that anyone can make 
even if you've never baked a day in your life. So with that being said, um, that is why I turned the camera on so that in case you can't get out or there is no bread available at the stores with everything that's crazy that's going on, this is your basic, simple, easy white bread. If you've never baked before, this is about as easy as it comes. There's nothing intimidating about it. Um, I did use a KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, you can put all the ingredients in a bowl with a wooden spoon, start bringing it together. Um, you might be stirring for a little bit. And once it starts coming into a bowl or forming into a bowl, you're going to want to dump it out onto your clean counter and you're going to want to knead that until it looks smooth like the dough that I just did in the KitchenAid. Um, so yeah, I really wanted to try to be of some type of help to maybe someone who has never baked before. Um, you know, um, people that have kids and, you know, kids like their sandwiches. This is so easy. I promise. So like I said, it is uh, one and a half cups of lukewarm water and then two teaspoons of yeast with your two tablespoons of sugar. You can give it a little stir, put it off to the side, three minutes. You'll know if your yeast is good and I'll tell you how because it will, it will smell yeasty. It will be bubbling up. Here's the yeast that I'm going to use to make some cinnamon raisin bread. And do you, thank God I have this. Do you see what I mean by poofy and it's bubbly? This yeast is very good. So, um, yeah, thank God I had that to be able to show you. So you would put it off to the side until it looks foamy. If you make the water too hot, it will kill the yeast. If it's too cold, the water, it won't activate the yeast. That's probably about as complicated as it gets. Um, use your wrist as if you're checking a baby's bottle or their bath water and it should be of a normal temperature for a baby. Put your yeast in the, in the one and a half cups of water um, with just two teaspoons of yeast. Then you can add your two tablespoons of sugar. You can also add just two tablespoons of honey and forget the sugar. And then it's four cups of the bread flour which I showed you I buy this type of bread flour. Um, I think I got this at Sam's. This is a 25 pound bag that I've had for a while. Um, and I'm now officially, well, I have some in a container, but this is officially empty. But you could use just regular all purpose flour if you can find bread flour. So it's four cups of the bread flour and then two tablespoons of softened butter that I literally had just sitting out on a paper plate to come room temperature. And then it is two tablespoons of dried milk powder. That may sound strange to people, but um, I've been doing it for a while now because I noticed uh, my bread molds faster um, when you use regular milk. So you can substitute milk for the dried milk powder, which is two tablespoons um, inside this mixture as well with one teaspoon of salt. So I think you're up to speed there. Um, and then turn your mixture on too, let it all come together. And you'll know when it all comes together when the side of your bowl is that clean. Once it's that clean, you want to put it on uh, for five minutes to knead it. Um, set a timer. It doesn't really take that long. It should look pretty smooth. Uh, once that's done, you saw I just took it right out of there. Uh, you can use this bowl with a little olive oil. Spread it around. Put it on the bottom. Flip it over. But I want to use this um, to make cinnamon raisin bread. And hopefully that that video does not get cut off. Because I'd like to make that recipe for anyone who has children and maybe you want some cinnamon raisin bread. Maybe you can't find it in the store. I'm going to try to do some back to basic type of recipes uh, just to help, um, you know, with everything that's going on in this world. So you saw that I put it in a glass bowl 
That's why, because I plan on using this. A little olive oil in the glass bowl. Put your dough in there. Spin it around. Make sure the sides are coated. Flip it over. Cover it with a tea towel, which is what I did right here. It is covered. And we are now going to let that rise for one hour, which shouldn't take long because my oven's on. And um, yeah, so just put it in a warm place. It could be your microwave. Just don't turn it on. Um, if your oven wasn't preheated, you could put it in your oven with the light turned on. But it should prove fairly quickly. Um, but the standard's like one hour um, until it doubles in size. As soon as it gets to that, I will bring you guys back. Um, hopefully nothing else happens uh, with the phone. Um, wish me luck. <laughs> so one hour till it doubles in size. And then I will bring you guys back to show you the rest of the recipe. Okay, let's take a look at the bread. It has definitely doubled in size. So we are gonna dump it out and we are gonna get ready to put it in the pan. So let me just sit you guys right here for right now. So I move a couple things. Like my friendly rooster. Turn her up away. I am going to use this pan. So you can spray it, you can butter it, whatever you like. Well sprayed and buttered. This is actually pan baking. That's what I use because I have a little bit left in there. And now what we're gonna do, which I hope you guys can see, I am gonna lower this just a tad. Hopefully, I need you to see the counter, not so much. Okay. amazing the spots that we put our tripods to try to get the shot. Let me put my tail down a second. Make some room here. Thank you guys for being so patient. Okay. So remove my bottle of water. This is the water I've been drinking every day. It's amazing. Okay. This is the pan. What we're going to do now is we, this counter is clean. I've already cleaned it. We are going, make sure that you can see that. We're going to dump it out onto the counter in a square. And then I'll show you, I'm going to roll it and whatnot. So just dump your bread out. Literally that simple. My hands are already clean. And I'm just going to bring my pan over to here. And I'm just going to try to make somewhat of a square. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to roll this up. We're going to put it in our bread pan. And we're going to put it in the oven. Um, at, what was that again? Oh, 350. I'm sorry. 350 for 25 to 30 minutes. Hoping you guys can see this because now I don't want to touch my thing because my hands are all a little greasy. So just spread it out. Some people don't even do this. You just want it to kind of be even all the way around because what you're going to do is you're just going to take, let me see if you guys can see this, let me wipe my hands off. Okay, let's grab this. Maybe I can turn you this way so you can see what I am doing. How is that? Can you guys see? 
basically just going to grab the end and we're just going to roll it up as if you were to roll up cinnamon rolls. Just roll it tight all the way to the end and then you're going to want to pinch the bottom part of the bread into a seam just like so. Let me I have to wipe everything off my hands. Just the seam, just like that. And then we are going to be tucking in the ends. Okay. So we pinched all that together. And then now you're just going to take it in, pull it up, and pinch it. Same thing, tuck it in, pull it up, and pinch it. And the reason for that is it kind of gives you a better loaf, it keeps it all together, and you just want to shape it just a little bit, make sure that it's even even roll. And if you see that it's separating, just pinch it again. No big deal. And that is that. So, there it is. Now what I'm going to do bigger than my pan but that's okay we are going to get it to fit and what I do is I like to flatten it I think that one was a little longer than what I would normally do and you basically oh, there you go, so I'll show you just get it in the pan flatten it down like so. You just want to get it in there and then just start flattening it. All I'm doing is just trying to get it as even as possible on the ends and flattening it so that it's kind of even all the way around. And even if your loaf doesn't come out perfect, guess what? You made a loaf of white bread. That looks most pretty good to me. There you have it. Let me see. There is our white bread. We are going to put this in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. My oven's preheated at 350. It is going in right now. And I will bring you guys back as soon as we go to take it out of the oven. Okay, here we go, guys. Timer should be going off any minute. Let me give you a sneak peek. There it is. And the timer is getting ready to go off. So. I am going to sit you right there. I mean, such a simple bread to make for sandwiches. You can toast it up, whether it's because of what's going on in the world today, whether you can't get any bread, a single mom, a single dad, a husband and wife. This recipe, like I said, was so simple. Uh, sorry, the beginning got kind of screwed up because of the battery dying. That's like my luck. But, um, yeah, if you want some simplicity type of recipes, uh, you know, for me to do, leave them down below. And, um, yeah, I'll be sure to do as many recipes as I can before I move out of here. Alexa, how much time is left on the timer? You have one minute and 50 seconds left on the timer. 
one minute so yeah any type of recipe um, whether it's buttermilk whether it's uh, how to make milk from the non dairy like this right here the uh, milk powder if you kept the bag or the box of instructions tells you right in here right on here uh, on the label how you actually make milk and yeah I mean you won't run out of milk um, but yeah if there's any type of recipes I'm thinking about doing maybe a cinnamon raisin bread um, so you could put it in the toaster or have it for breakfast I will try to see what I can do um, as far as recipes that are of a necessity to what's going on in the world today um, and uh, yeah if you have any requests leave them down in the comment section and um, please subscribe smash the like button I will leave the recipe down in the description box but I hope that this helps everyone uh, whether it's you know someone that's never baked before this was easy peasy exactly like I promised I'm gonna tr pull this out now because the timer is ready to go off and I'm gonna show you what this looks like and there is our bread now let me see if I could put you right here and I will show you that if you want it to be like Wonder Bread, um, that's the only way I can really describe it. Alexa, stop. Timer just went off. If you want it to be like Wonder Bread, you can just, which is a softer crust. Did you hear that? Um, you can just take some butter and smear it all over the top of the bread. This is how I do it um, for sandwiches. You can also leave it and not put any butter on it at all. If you want, you know, a crustier bread, don't put butter on it. If you want it to be like a sandwich bread, then spread butter all over it. That didn't take us long at all to do. Make it a little bit more right here. Oops, I just dropped it. Usually I'll take like the wrapper, smear it all over it. But just a little bit. Enough to give it some shine. And to make the crust softer. Just get all your little nooks and crannies. And that's it. So here you go. Let me take you over. I don't know why I was picking up the pot holders. You, everybody always wants to see the crumb inside. And don't even worry that that's, doesn't matter. It's a little bit lighter, it's fine. Um, everyone wants to see the crumb, but you're not supposed to cut into the bread until it's cold because it could fall apart. But I am going to dump it onto the cooling rack. So let me do that. We're going to get it out of the pan now. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. So easy. Don't be scared. You could do this recipe. Anyone can do it. It's just the way it was crimped right there. That's why it looks like that. But yeah. She is a beauty. And that is how, I just took a picture for Instagram so you guys are on it. That is how you can make some homemade white sandwich bread. Now, because I love these all so much, if my bread falls apart, I'm gonna be blaming all you people. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to cut into it so you can see a slice. You can slice it as thin as you want or as thick as you want. But you're really supposed to let this cool, obviously. 
I'm just only going to cut one piece. Gosh. Steaming hot, of course. Oh. Look at that baby. Mm -mm -mm. Look at the crumb inside of there. It's so light and fluffy and pillowy. Fantastic. So there you go, guys. That is your simple, basic white bread for sandwiches. Um, I hope this is helpful to anyone who might not be able to get their hands on some bread. Um, it didn't take long. Just an hour for proofing, five minutes to mix it. And it was 25 to 30 minutes in the oven. Um, at 350 and I will leave the um, ingredients down below in the description box and I hope if you've never baked before do not be frightened just do it and you will have all the bread that you want and then you'll be surprised of how many other things you can create from just this one recipe so God bless you guys I love you um, smash the like button um, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Look at the pillowiness. Look at that. I know, I'm fingering up the bread, but that's okay, because I'm going to be the one eating it. But there you have it, guys. I hope that was helpful. Get in the kitchen. If you can't get a loaf of bread, and make yourself, whether it's your first loaf of bread, or you haven't baked in a long time, this is a simple, easy-peasy recipe, like I promised, and... Give it a whirl. Try it. If you do, please leave a comment down below. And um, until next time, there is your bread. Don't worry about the supermarkets running out of bread. Make your own at home. Tastes better anyway. Plus, you know exactly what your ingredients are. Okay, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this. And I will be seeing you on the next video.